What's up everybody? My name is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I'll be guiding you through this synth. It's also known as Edgewood. It has uh, some unique characteristics to it. Um, a little bit of automation on the octave as well. I don't think... Oh, and the, mod the mini wheel. The modulation wheel. Anyways, um, this synth is a little bit nasty. I guess you can call it uh, something Cookie Monster, uh, or Monster, however you pronounce his name, uh, uses in some of his tracks. It's very gritty, very high frequency, very powerful synth. And it's not, not complex to build, really. Um, so I'll guide you through this short little example that I've threw together in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, no, I would have to say half an hour. <laughs> Anyways, um, check out this uh, sequence and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in a minute then. So that's the uh, that's the sound, and if you want to know what keys I'm using, I'm using D2 all the way up to C, C, D, E, F, G, G and G sharp. So uh, G3 and G sharp three, and I'm using D2. So it goes. <laughs> And the mod wheel actually acts as si uh, sort of a little octave higher. So when I play a note, so it has a lot of high frequencies in with it. So. I'm gonna show you how to build that patch. It's not complex or anything. So go to my reason, go to new, drag up the mixer, drag down the sequencer, right click. In all my videos, I always say control click. I, actually, I always say right click because I'm using a PC mouse on a Mac. But what you can do is you can hold control and you can click and it'll give you the same menu. So. When this menu is popped up, I'm going to go to Utilities and Combinator. By the way, I'm using Reason 6.5. It has rack extensions, all that good stuff. Anyways, inside this little red box here, I'm going to throw in a blank patch of Maelstrom. Now, in this blank patch, I'm going to turn up the polyphony to 12. I'm going to turn up the portamento to 44 the range all the way to 12, and the shift to 24, or 25, however close you can get it. That's all we need to do for the modulation wheel. For our mod A, we're going to change this to a rising down synth, or a curve 9, this down synth. I'm going to turn on sync, and I'll turn the rate all the way to 8 fourths, so it plays every half half the time and it'll play once every other four bars so anyways uh, for the shift I'm gonna turn it up to 12 for and turn off my B we don't really need it for my sign I'm actually I'm sorry for oscillator a I'm gonna change this to a female uh, if 
Falestino. I think that's what I call it. Yeah, Falestetto. I'm going to take this down an octave. I'm going to turn the motion all the way down to negative 64. And I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to turn on square for my second oscillator. Instead of sine, I'm going to go to square. And I'm going to turn it up an octave. And let's see. That's basically it for the patch. So. That's that's it for the patch. After this, I'm going to right click or control click, go to RV7000, turn the dry wet all the way to about a quarter, so 22, 22 on both, or 23, however close you can get it. After this, I'm going to create a line six base amp, turn it on, don't need to do anything else with it. After this, I'm gonna to go to creative effects and go to screen four distortion unit. I'm going to bypass that for, actually let's tackle this. So, I'm going to turn the damage to 40. I'm going to turn it to fuzz for the distortion type. I'm going to turn P1 all the way up and for P2 I'm going to turn it about a quarter. So 20 for that. For our body we're actually going to modulate this. So for our body we want Rezo to be there. Just leave it like is. Uh, put the scale at 64 and put the auto to 64 as well and turn it to type A. So we're in the right uh, place. If we take that off and play a few examples, you'll hear the raw noise. If you take it, if you put it on, you'll start to hear the cabinet start to create more of a growl noise. So it's pretty useful. After this, I'm going to create a MC class equalizer, an MC class, let me scroll down, MC class maximizer. And after the maximizer, create a line six base amp. Why would we do this? Because we're going to squash the signal a little bit further so that way when you start to have, start to mix everything from a mastering point of view, this signal will be uh, at a lower volume, but still maintain all the dynamics, making your mix a little bit easier and more crunchy, uh, making it a little bit smooth. Meaning, you won't have all these high peaks and everything blowing up your speakers or monitors. Anyways, for the equalizer, I'm gonna turn on low cut for parameter one. I'm gonna take it all the way down to 126, gain down Q about 8.9, uh, let's make a 10.5. Parameter 2, I'm going to take this a little bit below uh, the 2 kilohertz, so 1.9 to 8 kilohertz. Gain down Q about 11.7. High shelf down to 3 kilohertz, as low as it'll go. Gain down, I'm sorry, gain above 3.4 or about 3.3. And the Q about 0.5. Turn on soft clip for the maximizer, amount 127, take off limiter, and put release to auto. There we go. Anyways. Thanks for joining me. If you guys want me to upload this patch, also known as Edgewood, I will do so. So, I'll catch you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great uh, rest of the day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, with another patch or probably a technique. Take it easy, guys.